Would you be interested in a game that looks like a mashup of Sekiro and Ghost of Tsushima together? Well, here is where wins meet. It's an upcoming massive open world action game from Everstone Studio that's being developed for PC. We've had our eyes on this one since it was first announced as the theme is something we love and the reveal trailer for the game actually looks very promising. Over the last couple of months, they've been showing more of the game with some lucky press members actually getting hands-on with it. But something we wanted to highlight to you was that during TGS 2023, there was 18 minutes of gameplay released that we feel like a lot of you may have missed and we want to keep you all up to date. This gameplay is looking particularly awesome and it was uploaded by IGN. The footage itself includes boss fights, the character customization, combat, exploration, and even some insane flying as the game isn't just about martial arts but also has a mystical and fantasy element to it. Before we get into the gameplay though, something that got us more interested in the game itself was actually the impressions from the people that had hands-on time around Gamescom, so here's what people were saying about the game itself. Ed Nightingale for Eurogamer said it was all too brief of a session, with questions remaining about the importance of construction, how its various systems will interlink together, and what the impact of multiplayer will be. This feels like the kind of game that will take a while to unfold, it lets you truly immerse yourself in it and appreciate its rhythm of fast-paced combat and exploration, not to mention the gorgeous environment. Still, combat and the already extensive skill trees prove where Wind's Meat has potential. Everstone Studio is creating an authentic Wuxia fantasy that remains approachable for a Western audience, filled with knowledge, love and expertise of the genre. I can't wait to see more. So this is sounding extremely interesting, but there's also also a ton of really exciting stuff in the new gameplay and it starts off with a boss fight against a bladed pole wielding boss called the Faceless Tyrant. Just by looking at the gameplay you can see that this is giving off a vibe similar to something like Neo, Wulong, Sekiro or any game within this kind of realm where the combat is purposefully mixed with a heavy focus on parrying. The game also has a stamina bar, posture, finishing moves, and we can see all of them in action during the gameplay as the player is planning out their attack by dashing in and out of combat. We do love this type of combat in games, so it's definitely something that gets us very excited to get our hands on with it, so that we can of course try it out for ourselves. But that being said, some of the animations do look like they could use some polish, but given that the game hasn't got a confirmed release date just yet, we're thinking this should be achievable. The next thing that was shown off in the gameplay is that we're able to fully customize our character. As you can see, we can pick between different hairstyles, face shapes, eye colors, and more, as to be expected in a character creator. This one actually looks pretty in-depth, as they have included a bunch of sliders for different options, which is always our preferred method of customization in games, as it allows you to create a character that feels more unique to you and what you actually want to play. In addition to that, Players will be able to pick from a variety of different traits that will give you benefits in the actual gameplay, such as reduced aiming time, or to increase your base stats on your character, letting you tailor your character to your playstyle. I do hope some of these aren't too powerful so you're forced to pick them, but it's cool to see that there is variety in there. We do know that the game is open world, and no open world game will be complete without a town area for some rest, relaxation, and stocking up. Within the town section of the gameplay, we get to see the player character walking around, completing side quest objectives, looting various boxes for resources, and being able to pet the cat. The thing that caught our eye, however, was the traversal, as we will have the ability to quickly and freely traverse the environment using some extreme looking, very parkour-esque, but also funny and disrespectful use of people as vaulting points. Much like in Ghost of Tsushima, one of the tactics that the game offers is stealth attacks and avoidance. So if you love being a stealthy boy in these kind of games, then you will be able to execute some flashy attacks. But the best part of the trailer for us is the crazy flight system that has been put in place for traversing around the open world. The whole animation looks so cool and the character literally cuts into another dimension and then skips along the air super smoothly and it just looks really pleasing. But this wasn't the only ability that we got to see in action, as towards the end of the gameplay we got a better look at the skill tree and some of the abilities that will be able to be unlocked. With some of them being very unique, such as a lion's roar, which is a scream through a barrel, which deals damage to enemies. All in all, we think the game is looking very cool so far, and we're hoping this turns out to be a good one, but from watching the gameplay, you can clearly see that the game is in need of some polish. 
It's a really positive thing though, as you can really tell the developers of the game are passionate about it and they're continually showcasing more of it. And this is something the press mentioned in all of their interviews. But we would suggest watching the full gameplay if you haven't seen it to get a better idea on the game itself. And we've included a link to that in the description down below. So follow for more daily gaming news, guides, and more.